I did it. Hi guys. It is me. It is Saturday and it is... Wait, is it Saturday? It's Saturday and... It's a gaming weekend. We started yesterday with the uh, no drama, just gaming. And we had a blast. It was a really good day yesterday. Um, so let's see. What can I report back? What can we report back today? I can report back today that my luck is non-existent. And I am shaking my camera and I promised I wouldn't. One second. No more shaky shake. Okay. So, I've run eight four ways. Oh my god, I just did it again. Sorry. I've run eight four ways. Legion. And I still haven't gotten my jewel. I can't believe it. We ran two more yesterday. And I'm I'm getting to the point where I can't I'm I'm so sick and tired of farming these stupid I'm not up to that just yet. Ah, uh, splinters, but I guess we'll we'll do it again. Hopefully, we can get this this vol splinter just doesn't want to. Oh, so behind on it. Okay, we'll do it again. It's fine. It's fine. I had a I had someone say, "Oh, but okay, if you do this or that, there are better odds and this and that." And you know what? Sometimes in PoE, you can be doing the right thing and not get what you want. And it's kind of like the law of probability. It's the same thing with the six thinking and everything else. Right? It's like, oh, but if you do this, there's a higher chance. But if you guys want to know how to get the how how to get the best odds, um, basically, obviously, the the more of these emblems you run at the same time, be it three, four, or five, the more time you have, meaning that you get the maximum value out of a single one. I find that if the four way is very very good because I can sort of kill all the bosses, um, on the right uh, time. So the way it works is that every 25, ah, exactly as you kill the boss, a timer starts of 25 seconds. And then when that timer hits zero, you can spawn by running into the middle and, and do the poo. It can spawn again. So what you want to do is you want to rush to the boss you want to kill. Kill it immediately. Kill a couple of the other bosses. And then like two seconds before it's supposed to spawn, you go, you, you, you enter the middle and like, dung, dung. And then 25 seconds is hit, right? And then it spawns again and you kill it. And you just do that as often as possible. Because the way it works um, is there's an even chance on every single kill to get the jewel. It's the same thing with like six linking an item, right? Like, I'm me not getting this jewel is like missing my one in a thousand or one in a thousand chance with a thousand fusings like four times. I'm, I'm probably at the time where... My odds right now, or my the, the probability is something like me missing 5,000 fuses. It happens. If it keeps happening, I'm gonna go crazy, but, you know, it, it is what it is, so... Yeah, hopefully, hopefully I'll get that. Um, other things, uh, I wanted to give you guys a little tip today, because I've had a few people come in and be like, Hey, Nugi, um, these maps, I'm stuck. I can't find the maps, I don't have maps, how do I gain maps, how do I complete my atlas, and... So there's the leapfrogging strategy, and you guys can look that up, because there's plenty of videos on that on uh, YouTubes. However, I want to give you my... just a couple tricks that I use, because I don't always use, like, the leapfrogging or anything. Sometimes I just kind of get lazy, and I have, I have, like, my own little thing I do, which is I just complete maps. And I kind of like force my atlas where I want it to. So you can force it around with bloodstones if you if you don't know. Right, so taking these out in and out and it creates like maps on your atlas. And that's all, you know, that's all good. Right, but the, the, the trigger I want to give you here is two things. So there is the, I'm running out of maps and I would I'm like to get to more maps. Um, and then there's the, I want to complete all the maps on the atlas. So, the running out of maps, there are like two things here. Well, let's start with the... How do you make sure you complete as many as possible of the Atlas? Right, you can do the leapfrogging strategy and... I haven't really heard many people talking about how to like... Uh, take advantage of Sana. As you can see here, Sana has a lot of maps, right? These would be really nice early on. So, step number one. Once you unlock the Atlas and... You're like, hey, Sana. 
You spawned. You get Sana in the... After you find the first... I believe after the first... Um, what's this thing called? Watchtower thing. Uh, which is the first T3 map that you run. Because once you run a T3 map, she will come in and be like, Hey! Look what I found! And she'll do that for every region. Right. So the first one you do there. And then you get Zana. And then you buy all the maps and you're like, Oh, she's out of maps. But this is the trick. Running a Zana mission resets Zana's vendor. I'll show you. I'll take a white map. And then tip number two. Um... Let's say, let's say that you have all T1s completed, all T2s completed, 4s and 5s, and only like half of the T3s. One could think, oh, but I should run my Zana in the T5. Well, if you want to go up in maps, that's a good idea. However, if you want to complete all the maps in the zone and you're not struggling in like the around T5 region, you just put a T T3 in there, right? You know, you put whatever in there. Boom, boom. Let's first check Zana here. So we have like... A rotten tomb, pen yeah. peninsula, and stuff like that. Just put in like Zana, boom. And once this completes, boom, boom. Oh, new maps. And the uh, this map pool in here is determined on. You can see I get red maps. Like Noogie, why are you getting red maps? I'm only getting trashy whites. And the reason for that, you don't have enough bonus completion. Bonus completion determines the level of maps Play. in Zana. So that's why from the very beginning. Complete your maps. Get bonus completion everywhere, 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 everywhere. Right? You want to know if you've completed a bonus completed the map? Well, hold Alt. This is something you can do with Zana as well. When Zana shows you her selection of maps and you're not at the the map tab, just hold Alt on her on her on the list of maps, and you can see whether or not they're completed. Right? You can see whether or not they're completed by just holding Alt. You can see it here, so you don't have to go here. So that's like tip number one. Use Sana. And use Sana to reset and to fill out your atlas. So what does this also mean? It means that if you if you run more maps and you get more atlas missions by just running more maps, right? Because every time you finish and kill a boss, you get an atlas mission. So you accumulate more missions over time by just running faster maps. So don't be too focused on only running your highest map to get the big return to keep climbing. Just volume of maps matters here. Just run volumes of maps matters. Okay, tip number two. How to use Elva. I'm not up to that just so yet. So Elva can spawn this room. There are two things about Elva. So Elva will um Elva's level of the full temple is based on the highest map that you've run with an Elva mission in it. So let's say that you only have a yellow Elva mission. What should you do? You have one yellow Elva mission and you have like eight whites. Well, you try as much best as possible to get a T10, and you plop that in with the Elva mission. You know, and a good idea is to juice that. If that's the highest map, you juice that map a little bit as well with some. Maybe you have some scarabs, and, and on this map you'll 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 pop in some some uh, some sextants, especially early on. Like some of you guys are maybe SSF, and you want to be like, yo, I want to start SSF and everything, and it's perfectly it's perfectly viable to use resources early on. To cement your foothold in like the early to uh, early or high to high to early red or high yellows early red maps, perfectly viable. Use some like sextants, use some scarabs, you know. Just expo ex experiment a little bit with juicing up your maps, making sure that obviously you don't want to die. But and then you can run your white elvas to finish this off. And then you 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 really want to get a, a surveyor's office um, or study, and you really want to get anything that gives you like. More pack size in here. There's like a the guards one gives you pack size, and you like run the full temple and you try and get maps that way. Third way is just delve. Exile. Just go down and delve. But it's not that easy to go down and delve if you're not in the higher maps because as you go down the cost goes up, uh, and as you go up in maps, the you get more and more soul fights. So generally, um, you know you can. You can kind of like follow your current tier with the with the delve tier. That's usually how it goes. But as you can see here, I've I've used all the resources I've gotten. I'm only in 81, and I have like I've run hundreds of 16s already. So it doesn't really follow. So I wouldn't be too worried about that. But yeah, I hope that um, 
I hope those a few tips uh, helped you. I don't know. Let me know if you, they did. Um, for future videos, uh, if you guys have uh, some things where you're stuck, let me know. Like, I just... I kind of want to have... I would like... Because these, like, daily videos, you know, they can get a little monotone sometimes. And just saying, hi, I woke up and wow, uh, it's a new day, you know, gets a little old. So if I can, like, share some, some tips and tricks... I would like that so if there's anything else you would like to know let me know and with that i'm done with this video and i'll make another one tomorrow and now i'm gonna go stream bye um button <laughs>